what's up youtube i'm back again with another video and today i'm going to be showing you my kind of like go-to summer routine that i've been doing lately i actually don't even use an eyeshadow palette for this and it's pretty simple and basic something that you can wear for every day i've already done my eyebrows just because I want to make the video a little bit faster. So yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So starting off, um, well, let me just say that I've already moisturized my skin. And I'm going to be priming with the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. Since I want to make this a kind of dewy look, but I'm oily, so it's going to be kind of a combination of dewiness and matte skin. What's actually going to make the dewy illusion is going to be highlighter. So I'm going to be cream highlighting with the e.l.f. Shimmering Facial Whip. And this is in the shade Lilac Petal. And this is just what it looks like. I'm going to be using that as a, uh, as a base for where I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to kind of use that as a primer as well. And just apply it to where I'm going to be applying my highlight. it's looking like really uh highlighted and we're gonna be applying foundation over that so it's just gonna give us like a good base that way it can look like you have a glow from within all right so as you can see the highlight is very strong but this is not what we're gonna look like the foundation is gonna cover it it's just gonna create an illusion but for my oily skin girls out there you know the struggle is real but you want to get that dewy look so that's what we're gonna be doing kind of creating an illusion and then uh, mattifying everything so that it's not actually oily all right so next I'm gonna be going in with the L'Oreal infallible pro matte foundation and this is in the shade 106 sun beige and i'm just going to be applying that with my real techniques beauty sponge just gonna dot this all over my face I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and this is in the shade Sand. It's a little too light for me so I'm not going to be using that much. So now we're going to be setting the face with some translucent powder and I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder and I'm just going to be taking like this powder brush and I just take like that much from it. So I take a decent amount under my eyes and on my T-zone. tap on on the rest of my face and you want to like tap because if you're oily and your foundation is kind of dewy like you saw how I didn't use a mattifying primer so it did kind of look dewy um, if you tend to like drag it it's gonna kind of smear your foundation and move it around and it's just gonna mess your whole look up so that's why I kind of like to tap, but it's all up to you, but I just think that this works best. Alright, so now that we have set our face, we're going to be moving on to contouring and to blush and highlighting. Lately for summer, I've been feeling this Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This does have SPF 15 and this is in the shade Bikini Contest. This is more like a very warm tone bronzer, which is why I like it more for summer since it's all about like warm tones and stuff like that, you know? So I'm just going to be taking this stippling brush right here and bronzing up my whole face. I don't really like to, to contour very harsh for everyday makeup just because um, I feel like it looks very unnatural to be honest but 
This is what I normally do on like an everyday basis. Right here I'm going to be taking the edge of the brush and then just going down the side of my nose. And I'm not going to be putting this away because I'm going to be using that for my eyes. So for blush, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Pearlescent Pink. And I'm going to be using this blush brush right here. And I'm just going to be applying that to the apples on my cheeks. And sometimes it applies too hard, so I just like wipe it off with my finger. And for highlighter, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. And this is in the shade Precious Petals. And I'm just going to be taking this little highlighting brush and I'm going to be wetting it actually just so it can give us more of a dewy look. So I'm just going to be wetting it with some setting spray and then just like tap it off just to remove any excess that may have gotten on there. So I'm just going to be applying that on top of where I had applied the cream highlight. So just right done with highlighting and now we're going to be moving on to the eyes so i'm actually going to be using this brush a lot and i'm going to be taking this pink peachy blush that i used right now and i'm just going to be taking that and applying that onto my crease a little bit above my crease as well so it can blend out nicely and since we are already applied that brow bone highlight we can just kind of blend it together all right and with that same brush we're going to be taking the bronzer we use and applying that in the crease as well just so it can give you some more darkness and warmth but this time i'm just keeping it just in my crease corner as well and we're also going to be applying some underneath our eyes Next we're going to be taking this flat brush and the highlighting powder that we use and I'm going to be applying that onto the lid and I'm going to be wetting the brush just so it can give more pigments To the lid now if you want to add more pigment you can definitely grab your finger and tap it on there but for right now I'm just gonna leave it like that just because I want kind of a soft subtle look all right so to finish off the eyes I'm gonna be taking some black liner and lining my my lash line of feathering it out at the end just so it can give the illusion that you have like a very baby very subtle wing liner all right so next we're going to be curling our lashes and applying some mascara the mascara that i'm going to be using is a super sized mascara and i really recommend this mascara especially for summer because it just makes your lashes look very flirty very long it gives you a, a little bit of volume but you really want I don't know what I've been seeing that's really trendy and it's looking very cute are long lashes which is what this mascara is going to give you. to the lips i'm going to be taking this lip liner which is a persistent lip liner and uh it doesn't have a shade name so yeah i'm just gonna show you what it looks like it's like a peachy nudish color and next 
I'm going to be taking the e.l.f. Lip Shimmer Lip Gloss. And this is in the shade Believe. And it's like a rose gold with like glitter specks on it. So I'm just going to use that to top it off. That's like giving us a very pinky peachy natural looking lips. You know what? I forgot to add some inner corner highlight. So that's what I'm going to do real quick. It. now we're just going to be setting our face with some setting spray and the one that i'm going to be using is the urban decay all nighter setting spray this is just a mini version that i have right here so it's just the one that i'm going to use for right now i always use the uh d slick setting spray just because that one has oil control you can use either one honestly and it's really important that you set your face at the end just because this is what's gonna hold your makeup all together especially if you have oily skin you really want to set your face with powder and setting spray so yeah this is it for the uh makeup look as you can see it's very dewy it's you can see my husband's chunk glass over there <laughs> all right guys so that's it for this makeup look as you can see it's uh, very highlighted and it's matte but still looks kind of dewy at the same time just creating an illusion this is like my go-to everyday makeup I don't even use an eyeshadow palette for this i just use what i use on my face so that's what helps create a very subtle but natural looking glam i don't know i feel like since you're using the same products that you're using on your face it just makes everything look much more natural to be extra you can add some like on your collarbone on your elbows uh, on your shoulders <laughs> and yeah it'll just make you look like very summer looking you know i'm like so excited it's summer already yeah that's it for this tutorial guys i hope you guys enjoyed it and if you want to see more tutorials please let me know so like always don't forget to comment like or subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys